Hi everybody, uh, today I'm trying to do the Eva Dropa uh, new room from Tricount Me it was released yesterday. Uh, let's see, task one it gives us the the private key. So if you have the private key, you can guess what we can. I downloaded the private key, so if we have the private key, of course we can lo SSH the system. We can SSH this system without asking us for a password. Of course, we need to change the permission to this file. We can uh, use a Frank at ten dot ten dot two two three dot two fifty, and we are in the system. Of course, we are. If we try SD my set, ask the password. Uh, here's the issue, we can go another rabbit hole like what happened with the takeover room two weeks ago but this time I thought the key here is said listen closely you might hear password when you talk listening about processing Linux we can say PSAUX doesn't give us too much it does give us an SSH this one root and then there's a Frank this is us so it means Frank is doing something else or somehow then you have net start doesn't give us then you have SS I'm not sure this IP here because we don't have root access is it, it's really difficult to get uh, the processes and all of that there is a nice system called PSPY and Privileged Linux Process Snooping. Uh, this it gives us more information with a normal user access. Let's try to get it. You can see here it just doesn't give us we need to listen to this system listening from this outside system And because he already gave us ask the system, so there is no point to making nmap and all of that. So, so let's download that file. So you can go here. Let's copy mine's i privilege PSPY. We copy it to use a Frank at ten dot ten dot two two three dot two fifty. Let's put home Frank. Now we already have it. Now let's see. Let's make executable. Pass X, PS, Y. Now let it run. Now the idea the script will run will give us an idea because the room, as you know, said listen closely, you might hear a password. So what we, what exactly we listening to here? Let's see. Uh, an SSD listener. Then what's this? Oops, hold on. SSD Frank. Frank is coming. There's another Frank happening in not just us. There's another connection in the system. Look, there's an SUD cut etc shadow. So, uh, and you can see it's the, it's it's another Frank coming in. It's like it is, uh, and then it's coming again. One, it's there. Where is it? It's in the blue. One here. S H Frank. You can see it's it's repeating again. Yes, you do. So, the only interesting part here is as you do cut etc shadow.
and it's coming now so so it's like a, there is a loop there's somehow when we connect this and this so this is our target here remember for us because we don't know it will ask us for the password hmm? but there is another Frank or somehow is connecting to the system and is entering password so if we can hijack as you do if we can hijack as you do uh, w we can get that password so the prince how to hijack in as you do we c be one way to do it is changing the path so eco path because we have access system if we're able to change the path and we can create our own script we can run any we can run run any script we want we if we want if we if we can change the path so l let's try that so l let's create script for the sake of argument let's say create a temporary let's call it as you do hmm? it's a bash script so it's uh, oops sorry uh, bind binary bash let's say for sake of let's say testing uh, we need to save this information certain file so let's say it's in home frank uh, test file so the idea is if this is you do run we want it to run this file we need to have proof of concept now now CS mode when executable the uh, temporary as you do one way to to change the path because remember we're not changing the path for root or something we just change it for Frank uh, Linux path can can change in, in uh, lo uh, the profile the local profile uh, where, where user can put their uh, uh, preferences and the file is let's say is this one bash rc now let's do first take the our we don't want to kill our we want to add now we can add it we can add it let's try confusing let's try to let's add to add our our variable home path equal let's add temporary no of course when you change the path you need to reconnect again it will not work now so we need to, to we need to reconnect again let's let's connect again ssh minus minus i previous key frank at 10.10 dot uh, two, two, three, dot two fifty. Now, no, oh, something is not. Uh, hold on. see the path is a path change or not you could on a path user local binary game why is it repeating Confused now. Echo the path. No, the path change. So why our script is not working?
Let's try them temporary sudo home frank oh that's the problem yeah binary bash uh, let's exit So my proof of concept is not running. Why guys? Vim temporary sudo binary bash. It's a binary script. Find test file. CDM. Frank, is this one the folder? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Sudo. Cut test file. Testing. Remove test file. It's supposed to be an auto. Uh, CH mod plus X temporary sudo. Uh, the path now it did change. It's in the temporary. This exit. Let's connect again. Why is not? Let's try to. What's happening? Is uh, is a Frank is not logging again? Let's uh, let's check if that command is running again. Hey, is a Frank is coming? is doing this so if he did this it sh I should the file should be created there but is not created why I'm, I'm really confused now my side privilege uh, Frank 10.10 10, 2 to 3 2.50 uh, file is not recreating. Uh, Frank, why is a Frank now? Because if you run as you do, the file get created. So I want this. Uh, hold on a minute. Let's try put this in the top then let's exit let's make sure the file is not there exit let's connect again ls ls how is our Frank is doing here Because let's wait for that command to appear. The SSH cut shadow. Oh, the test file now, you see. So, 
So the idea is, I think uh, for whatever reason, so it mean it mean we need to put the path in the top for whatever reason. I'm not sure why the bottom doesn't work. Maybe because, so you can see w the file was created. So, so we have the file was created, test file from the script of temporary as you do. So what we can do now, because Frank is is typing as you do cut etc shadow, he will enter as you do password, and we can catch it. That's the plan. Now what we just do now we just need to read the input of the, uh, of the user Frank. So now when Frank write that, so we can read my sp. Let's say to him, no, no, my my sp. Please give us your password. Pretty please. pretty please the variable is password then we can echo this variable password to new file let's say home frank password so so let's now log in frank exit frank let's log in again so if we log again we c these things will Another Frank that that cat command will come somehow, and then we need to look for that file. You see, that's the file we're looking for. The file was created password. So now let's cut password. So this is the password for the SUD. We capture it. But remember, we we need the shell that doesn't use. We can't use it here because this uh, dollar. This is a temporary. We can't use as you do now because we'll capture the password. We need to use it in uh, in let's say is this one echo dollar path. The original. We need to use it in the original without modification. So now as you do as you. Now we have. A password and now we are root CD home oh, CD root and that's your flagged file thank you guys I hope you enjoy this please subscribe and like thank you very much and thank you for support